Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will continue our learning on CO2 storage modeling and simulation using CMG software. So it's a very, very important and interesting case for us to learn. We have covered the reservoir section, components, rock and fluid, initial condition, and also numerical settings. We will skip geomechanics for the time being. And then in this case, in this video, we will cover the wells and recurrent. Okay, so let's touch this button. We will have separators, tubing, tables, groups, wells, dates, triggers, and well lists. But the most important things are wells and dates. Okay, so first let's touch the date. Okay, if you open the drop down menu, you can double click. And this is our starting date. It's January 1st, 2000. Okay, January 1st, 2000. And then we need to add a range of dates. Okay. For our time step, click this one. Okay, so we will need to define the starting point from and the ending point to. Okay. Because it is CO2 storage case. So basically we will need a very long time for the process. Maybe the injection will be done in 10 years, 20 or 30 years, but the entire process, including the residual trapping, mineral trapping, solubility trapping, it needs hundreds of years, if not thousands of years. So. Let's say in this case, I will change the two, click this one, to 2200, the years 2200. So I will need 200 years for my entire process. Okay, so click 2200, January, 1st January. Click OK. Okay, so the number of days are 73,000. Okay, 73,049 days, 200 years. And for the step, each month. So I need the report for each month as the time step. Okay, so if you click OK, 2,400 new dates have been added. Click OK. If you check from the year 2000 down to the year 2,200. Okay, so far so good. We can click close. And you see in the tree here, the time step will be expanded from the year 2000, 1st January 2000, okay, down to the year 2200. Okay, it's interesting. So the signature, there is no signature anymore because we have completed the date section for now. And then we will go to the next section, which is wells. You can click this one, this arrow, and we will create a new well. Okay, but I will first change the this one, the view to IK, okay? And then click this one. Let's create new well. Okay, in create new well, we have ID and the type of the well, constraints, multipliers, well bore, and injected fluid. Okay, the starting point, I want to change the name to CO2 underscore injector. Okay, because it's CO2 injection well. The type, open the drop down menu. And of course, it's injector. Okay, group, no need to define the group for the time being. And it, in order to keep the new type, the constraint has to be set to. Of course, later we will go to the constraints. And simulation start date, yes, the year 2000. So then we go to constraints. Here we will set the constraints or the control points. 
let's add let's take this one constraint constraint definition and the first constraint open the drop down menu operate and i will change you open the drop down menu the parameter let's change the surface gas rate stg surface gas rate maximum to be 10000 meter cube per day and the action let's expand this column it's continue repeat okay and then the second constraint is operate and i will set the bottom hole pressure bottom hole pressure maximum to be 44,500 kPa, and again, it's continuous. Okay, so I have two control points, the surface gas rate and then the bottom hole pressure or bottom hole injection pressure. Okay, so far so good. And then we can skip the multipliers. Currently, we apply one, okay? And no need also to define a more detail for the wellbore model for the time being, but we need to set the injected fluid. Okay, by default it is water injection, but if you open the drop down menu, we change it to solvent. Okay, it is considered solvent, but we want to inject pure CO2, so the mole fraction will be one, and the total will be unity, or one. You can also click normalize, but in this case, we only have two components and we want to inject pure CO2 for CO2 storage. So mole fraction of one. Click OK. All right, so far, so good. And if you open the, the wells, okay, open again, you see still, there is still a red ball. We have not completed yet we need to define the perforation or the completion. Let's click this one, double click. I will expand the window. So in well completion data, the keyword is perf. We have general settings, perforation and relative permeability option. Okay, let's check the general calculating well index method, directional weighting, okay and then direction k axis radius this one in meters okay and everything else as per default okay but the most important thing for us now is perforation okay we need to set the perforation okay and we can do that by add perf with mouse Okay, so you, you have freedom to put the open perforation. Okay, for that, you can check my previous video. In previous videos, I use my mouse to set the perforation. Okay, but now I will set manually. So you can click this one, insert before selected node or insert after selected node. Just click this one. Okay, we have connect to surface form formation factor status and the others okay and then i want to type in this is we need to define the ijk grid okay for i it is one okay for j it is one for k i want to start at 18th layer for the k direction but i want to open three layers layer number 18 19 and 20 for the k layers so i can type in like this way okay and then we can add Sorry. 
this one. One one nineteen, and then insert after selected node. It's one one twenty. Okay. So you see, if I maximize, and I use pen reservoir. You see the symbol of perforation here, layer number 18, 19, and 20. Okay, and let's check the table again. Expand. So I open the layer for the I, the first layer, for the J, first layer, and for the K, 18, 19, and 20. 18 connect to surface and then this one connect to row number one and then row number two. Formation factor one and then direction k axis and the others will follow what we input in this column. Okay, so the block top and block bottom will follow. Okay. Okay, so we can click OK or click Apply and then click OK. All right. Okay, let me move my model. So if I zoom reservoir, you see the symbol of my perforation there. Okay. And then undo zoom. Let's check for 3D view. Okay. You see there's the symbol of my CO2 injection well. I can rotate. Or from this angle, I cannot see my perforation, but if I change it to this one, I can see my perforation there. Okay. This is for the grid top. If you change it to, for example, porosity, then it will be like this. Okay. So far, so good. And then we go to this one, CO2 injector, double click. And then for the well events, now we need to set the well events. And let's say I want to inject for only one year, okay? Only one year. So starting from the year 2000, it will continuously injecting, yeah? It will continuously inject pure CO2 to the aquifer. At the year 2001, okay, January 1st, 2001, okay, I go to option and now I want to change the status. I take this one, I want to shut in the well. So open the drop down menu, shut in. So I only inject for one year. And then from the year 2001, starting from the year 2001 to 2200, I shut in the well and I monitor what happened inside the aquifer following the CO2 injection. Okay, so that's the game plan and the everything else will follow as per default. Okay, so click apply and click okay. Click save. All right, so we have completed the wells and recurrent section. We have completed the dates, time steps, the wells, the perforation, and also the events for the well. So we can conclude for this video. And in the next section, we will go to IO control.
to set some simulation setting. All right, so see you later. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope the video is useful. Thank you so much for watching and see you again in the next CO2 storage using CMZ videos. Thank you.